I'm Justin, in this tutorial we'll be discussing communication strategy and some of the barriers to international communication. So why do firms need to communicate? Communication is an important part of what draws customers to the product a company is selling. There are different ways of communicating to customers depending on the channel that a company picks. There is no single channel that is better than others. Picking a channel is dependent upon the company and the products that they're trying to market. Some of the channels that companies pick from and combine together include direct selling, sales promotion, direct marketing, and advertisements. There are two main communication strategies for marketing, a push strategy and a pull strategy. A push strategy uses personal selling and less advertising in order to reach customers by pushing or taking the product to them. An example would be a car salesman. A pull strategy, on the other hand, uses mass advertising and promotion in order to create demand and make customers want the product. A good example would be Apple product commercials. In general, a push strategy works better with a short channel, limited media availability, and industrial or other complex products. A pull strategy works best with a long channel, sufficient media availability, and consumer goods. Again, it's not a question of which is better, but what best fits the situation. So there are three main barriers to international communication. These barriers are cultural barriers, source effects and country of origin effects, and noise levels. Cultural barriers come from differences in things like language, customs, beliefs, and what is appropriate in a country. Source effects occur when the sender is judged by the receiver due to status. Country of origin effects are similar, dealing with how the country of manufacture affects perception of the product. Noise levels have to do with the amount of competing messages there are trying to attract customers. This creates competition. So what can be done to overcome or avoid these barriers? There are some ways to manage them. To avoid cultural barriers, make sure to understand the local culture and work with locals to market with local values in mind. Working on building cross-cultural literacy is important to overcome cultural barriers. To manage source and country of origin effects, sometimes placing emphasis on the product and away from the origin can help. As far as noise level is concerned, marketers must be aware of the country and levels of competition when choosing which communication strategy is best. Understanding and managing these barriers to communication is possible with cooperation and effort by all, by all parties.